to this special interview with the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, Adil bin Ahmad Al Jubair. Appreciate your joining us here on India Today, sir. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. You're here at a very critical time, at a time when tensions have risen in the subcontinent after the terror attack in Pulwama in Kashmir. Is Saudi Arabia very clear about it, that any terror emanating against India is unacceptable? We have been very clear about the fact that any terrorism anywhere for any reason is unacceptable. And we were one of the first countries to come out and very strongly condemn the terrorist attack that took place recently and the loss of life. And our objective is to try to enhance international cooperation in order to rid the world of this scourge. The reason I'm asking you this is there's a sense in this country that while Saudi Arabia and India have evinced their desire to work together on countering terror, there isn't enough of an effort to directly name Pakistan or indeed the groups that operate out of Pakistan that are responsible for this cross-border terrorism. I'm not sure who is responsible for the cross-border terrorism, so I'm not in a position to address it. But what I can tell you is that we have worked to designate a number of terrorist organizations, including organizations in Pakistan, as uh, terrorist groups. And th they are designated as such by the United Nations, by the United States, by other countries. The reason I'm saying this again is because India has provided umpteen dossiers to Pakistan of involvement of individuals, groups based in Pakistan that are resorting to cross-border terror against India, including in the case of Pulwama, in the case of the attack on parliament in 2001. I just ask you, in all these instances, Islamabad hasn't acted. To that extent, isn't India justified in asking that Masood Azhar be named a global terrorist, that Pakistan actually visibly act against the terror, and shouldn't Saudi Arabia support us in that? I'm, I'm not aware of the details of this, of this case, uh, nor am I aware of the details with regards to any cross-border incursions. What I can tell you is that Saudi Arabia stands against terrorism in all its shapes and forms. We have been a victim of terrorism many, many times over. We have lost many of our individuals and we have lost many of our security forces to terrorist attacks. And we have been uh, pursuing the terrorists and those who support them and those who condone their actions uh, vigorously and without mercy. And we will continue to do so. And it is our hope that the situation between India and Pakistan can be de-escalated and that it can be resolved peacefully. But uh, under no circumstance do we support any kind of terrorist attacks against innocent people anywhere. Mr. Foreign Minister, how does Saudi Arabia, how does Riyadh see Kashmir at the moment? Do you see it from the lens of the Pakistanis? Do you see it from the India? I'm creating... Foreign Minister, how does Saudi Arabia, how does Riyadh see Kashmir at the moment? Do you see it from the lens of the Pakistanis? Do you see it from the Indian lens? How do you see Kashmir? We have said there are United Nations resolutions with regards to Kashmir that Saudi Arabia supports. We have urged that the two countries sit at the negotiating table and resolve those issues amicably in a way that uh, preserves the interests of the Kashmiri people as well as the interests of India and the interests of Pakistan. We believe that uh, where there is goodwill uh, and where there is a frank and honest dialogue that a resolution to this issue can be achieved.